Hey guys, how's it going? So today I'm doing Princess Tiana's makeup and if you guys haven't checked out this video, I will link it down below because this is the reason why I'm doing my makeup today. But also I wanted to give you guys some ideas on what you can do if you are a cosplay person or just a princess performer as well and you want to get a new way or a new style to do the Princess Tiana makeup. Or if you just really like the makeup and you would love to rock this style, that is good for that as well. So um, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and do a voiceover because, of course, I only have about an hour and I want to make sure that my makeup looks really good because um, what we're doing today is very special to me. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we are going to start by just brushing our eyebrows. And then we are going to basically color on our eyebrows. <laughs> I really like this pencil because it's super easy and it's like, it's like as if you're drawing like a picture or something, but you're just coloring in your eyebrows. And um, I like how it gets all of like the bald spots or the spots that just don't have that much hair. When you start to go inside like the little corners, you want to be super careful and just stroke lightly because you don't want it to be too harsh. You know, you want it to have that like natural fade. It's kind of hard because I don't have my glasses on, um, but I'm going to go ahead and start on the other side. After I finish both, I just brush them again. I brush them up because I'm going in with this brow gel from Hard Candy, I believe. And um, I'm making my brows look like these soap brows. I love this style. Even though I do the style, I don't think it's that harsh on my eyebrows because they're not as long, but I still really love the look. I don't know, it just makes my eyebrows feel more full. All right, we're good to go. And now we are going in with our LA Pro Concealer. And this is the color Fawn. And I use this to lighten up my eyes for my eyeshadow. So a lot of people will use the concealer for their like entire eye, but I only use it for what I'm going to use for my eyeshadow. So since I'm only using about three fourths of my eyelid, I guess, I'm only going to do that much, if that makes sense. All right, so you wanna make sure your concealer is dry. And then I'm going in to just like Make sure it's even, make sure it's smooth, and then I'm going in with the Warrior 2 palette by Juvia's Place, and I'm using the, the brown color. And then I'm also going in with this Morphe brush, it's M441. Most of my brushes are Morphe. I just like it a lot, I've, I've used it since high school, so um, yeah. Now with the eyeshadow, I like to pat it on there first, and then I will start brushing it in. But it's hard because sometimes the concealer doesn't dry in time, especially like when I'm rushing. So I just pat it on there and then I slowly start to brush. And honestly, I get a little messy when I do my eyeshadow because I clean it up with my foundation and concealer. <laughs> so if it looks a lot mess right now, no worries. Wait until the end, sis or bro. You're gonna see the final look, okay? The main thing is for me, I just wanted to make sure it's blended in and then on the outside, I, I can clean that up. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to go ahead and do the other side and show you a little bit of that too. Okay, so next I'm going in with the Morphe brush M433. I think this is a phenomenal blending brush and this is the only blending brush that I use. Um, I don't use this blending brush for any eyeshadows. I simply use it just to blend colors in. I think it's so important to blend your things 
um, end. So make sure you have a blending brush. Now I'm going back in with the M441 and then I'm using the purple from the Zulu palette from Juvia's Place as well. I only use Juvia's Place. Their pigment is bomb. Like, love it, always have. Used it for such a long time and I don't know if I'll ever change. Maybe I will, I don't know. But this is one of the best eyeshadow palettes that I've had like since high school so I'm basically going over the brown like I'm putting the purple on top of the brown I just use the brown for like a base type of color but here's me doing the other eye this is super simple now I'm going back in with my blending brush so I can blend out the brown and the purple and mix it all together Now I'm going in with the Morphe, br Morphe, <laughs> Morphe, the Morphe brush 456 and I'm using a pink color for my bottom lid or whatever that thing is called. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming the lower half of my eyelid, yes. My crease, period, yes. Um, I have to use this a few times because of the purple on top. Cause I just packed that baby on there, you know what I'm saying? Now I don't put the pink all over my crease. I just do it to about half, a half point, and then I leave the, the rest so I can blend in the purple and the pink together. I go back like a thousand times because it's not that the pink's not showing, it's like I want to make the sparkles show and so I go back and I I go all crazy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So next I am going in with my blending brush and just blending that out. I really like the contrast of the pink and purple. I think it looks really cute and it does give such like Mardi Gras vibes like I'm about to go party you know what I'm saying so like I really like these colors together I'm I think you can use it for like not everyday use but like when you go out like you know oh next I'm going in with my elf eyeliner and I start out from the outer corners of my eye and then I work my way in I think this is so much easier than going from my inner corner eye all the way to my out but I haven't been doing this for a long time. I started actually maybe like a month or so ago and I just like the time effic efficiency of it. And then I also really like how it looks afterwards. I feel like my liner looks better when I, when I go from outer to inner rather than inner to outer. All right, now we are going to put on some mascara before we put on our lashes. We love them lashes, yes. All right, and we are good to go. Now we are going in with the e.l.f. primer. I really love this primer. I feel like it makes my eye make not eye makeup, my face look so good and bright, and I feel so secured with this primer. It's really sticky, so you have to like hurry up and put it on, but afterwards you will um, fan your face so it, you know, it gets in and sinks in your skin um, and then you just let it work it's magic like oh I'm going in with the foundation I think it's called I believe I found this from a pop-up shop um, that's like 30 minutes away from my house so I don't know if you guys will find this but I feel like it's a it's similar to like Maybelline or um, or something that elf will carry I really like it it's not too heavy and it matches my skin color so you know I like it now this is where I clean up you see you see me over here cheating <laughs> so I I don't make a perfect like little like triangle line or whatever 
I literally just use my foundation to clean up like the extra access or the mess that I created on the outside of my eye. I do the same thing for this side as well. That's one of the reasons why I like putting on foundation last, but there's a couple of other reasons why I like putting on the foundation last as well. Okay, and next I'm going in with the LA Pro Concealer for my under eyes using Fawn once again. I'm sorry, in the beginning I said that I use Fawn. For my eyelids, I don't use Fawn. I use Honey Beige, but for my under eye, like for my concealer of like for my face, I use Fawn. I hope the people that are watching are still watching. Ooh, let me, I might change that. I might change that, who knows? All right, and then you just pat, pat, pat away. Like St. Patty's Day. <laughs> uh, that's uh, William coming in. He also had to get ready for the Lexington Parade because he is in charge of his float with his work. He works at a um, bank and he does a lot of community service events and everything in between. Okay, next we are using that brown for my contour now i don't like using like the liquid contour simply because i feel like it just it looks too fake to me or maybe i just don't use it right i do like using powder um i haven't really looked for a powder contour type of um palette or anything but if you guys know any contour powder anything let me know down below i would love to try it out i just i've just been using the juvia's place because it just works and it, it looks really good on my skin although it's eyeshadow <laughs> so yep now i'm just using like the side of the brush to like blend in the contour And now I'm using a skinnier brush to do my contour on my nose. It's pretty hard with powder, I'm not gonna lie. Here's this little skinny bitty brush. It's M4 something, I'm not sure about that one. I honestly don't know. But it's a skinny brush and it does the job. You don't really need anything special to blend that in. And honestly, you could, you could use your blending brush if you wanted to. I think that's what I'm doing right now, actually. All right, these eyelashes are too thin, so I put two together, and I'm using my Kiss glue. But before that, we are gonna put on this white eyeliner. I got this white eyeliner from Ulta for like $2. I don't think it's a like specific brand or anything. And then now I'm putting on the lashes. I swear, lashes are so hard to put on. Does anyone have like a secret method <laughs> for it staying on? Especially, well, honestly, it's not even all of the eyelash. It's just like the inner corner. The inner corner is so hard to stay on, but it might be because my eyes water a lot. So maybe I need a different glue. If you guys have any tips, just let me know. All right, now I'm going in with some mascara. I think that is from Maybelline. I usually use Maybelline for mascara. I'm just doing my bottom lashes now. Gotta make them pop. Now I'm going in with this red for my blush. I would like to try liquid blush. I really, I really want to, so I might do that in my future videos, but for now I'm using my eyeshadow palette. 
And then now I'm going in. I don't think I got to catch this on camera, but it's Juvia's Place, their highlighter. I'm not sure what the name of it is, but I think they only have one or two highlighters. I love this highlighter, it's so good. I feel like it just makes my skin pop. All right, kiddos, now we are all done. Okay, guys, so this is the final look besides the red lipstick. I'm gonna do that once I get to the parade. But this is the look. I hope that you guys found this really interesting and a couple ideas as well, because it looks like basic makeup. But um, if you're, again, a cosplayer and you like Princess Tiana, or if you're in a princess performing company as well, or if you're thinking about starting about one, this is how I do my Princess Tiana makeup. So thank you guys so much. I love you guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.